All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about and showcasing what I believed was the best indie game at PAX East 2020 and one of the best overall games at PAX East in general that I had no idea about prior to PAX East. This is one of those absolute gems that I think once it comes out and once it picks up traction and people hear about it, it's gonna be really, really popular, right? Because it's it's honestly that good. And it's what, as I said, I knew nothing about it. Um, it's one of those games we were just walking the show floor and it just caught our eye. And it didn't only catch my eye, pretty much anybody who was passing by the game was literally stopping in their tracks because they were noticing how cool and impressive this game looked. Pretty much there was a crowd around this game at all times. All three, four days of PAX, this game was always, always had a crowd around it, always had people around it because once they played it, looking at people playing was is really fun. Then once you actually got to play it, people were falling in love with it. So the game is Gigabash, by the way, if I didn't mention, you know, in all this in all this hype. But the game is Gigabash and it's a it's an arena brawler game, right? So let me just give you a little bit of information. So shout out to Aver Media uh, for sending me a live gamer portable, which allowed me to capture all of this gameplay on the fly. It came in real clutch and it's real convenient. Um, also shout out to the developers of uh, Gigabash, which is um, Passion Republic Games, they're a Japanese studio. And uh, I will put the link in the description for the, uh, I believe he was the, the president um, or lead, lead developer on the game. Um, I'll definitely put his link in the description. Y'all should definitely, uh, you know, follow him and everything like that. So, some information on the game. And I'm not gonna talk throughout the whole video. I'm gonna allow y'all to just enjoy the gameplay and check it out after I'm done giving you information. So as I said, I spoke to, I believe it was the president of the studio who, who was there. Um, and he told me originally this game only had 10 developers working on it. And this game has only been in development for one year. So what you're seeing on screen is pretty much the work of one year and some change. Now, even though it is uh, just an arena brawler, brawler game, um, it's very impressive what they've been able to do in that amount of time. Since then, they've expanded to about 26 people on staff, I believe he said. And the release date for this game, which is probably the worst news, is that they are shooting for a late 2020, um, early 2021 uh, release frame, right? Um, they, they want to add a lot more content to the game. I believe currently he said there are like, so there's like four monsters to choose from. They want to add, uh, I think he, he said up to 10. Um, there's like three or four stages in the PAX build. They want to add more stages and the, the, the stages, um, and, and, and the animation and the art style is just absolutely beautiful. I think that's what grabbed people um, and, and made people notice the game um, initially when, when, when they saw it, is just the art style and how lively everything looked. Uh, and like the, just that old school like animate, a, a, uh, animated um, art style to it. And then once people saw the gameplay and how fun it looked, and there's not a lot of party games nowadays, people are always looking for those type of party games. Um, that's what really drew people into it once they got to play it. So this game, if you had to, if I had to describe it, you know, it's like War of the Monsters for people who played that on PS2, Rampage for people who played that on like, that was like on N64. Uh, it has some elements of Smash Bros, uh, even Power Stone uh, a, a little bit. So if you are into any of those games, I think you will definitely be interested in this game. So as I said, the developer are, uh, the developers of the game are Passion Republic. Um, they're a Japanese studio, um, and they, like I said, they've been working on this game for a year. Uh, like I said, the, the animations are beautiful. The levels are very destructible. I believe it's running on the Unreal Engine. There are items and power-ups, and there's not a slew of them like Smash Bros has, for for example, which everybody seems to turn items off in Smash Bros anyway. But there are items uh, and power-ups, and you'll see use of the of the power-ups in this gameplay. 
there are four monsters as i mentioned and each monster fights very differently differently each one of these monsters are not just a uh, cosmetic or an aesthetic change and they all play the same no it's nothing like that they've designed all of these monsters to have uh to kind of have counters to one another right um to uh play very differently uh have different play styles different advantages uh different disadvantages and, and all those things so it's not just like a a cosmetic thing where it's just a different type of monster monster they play differently um and you know they have different um specials and abilities so just to touch on some of the basics so at the character select screen you select your monster you select the color scheme then it loads you into what is pretty much a pa a practice arena for you to practice the, the mechanics of the game and so just to go over that i mean you can grab monsters you can uh pick up buildings and and throw them uh you have a special attack and you have a uh, a normal attack both can be charged so they both have charge variations and do something different uh whether you just press it or if you hold it um there is a dodge button and there's a there's a block button so there's there's all these mechanics that you definitely kind of gotta get a grip on pretty fast because if you don't you will get destroyed in, in that arena so each arena uh also performs somewhat differently uh, i believe it, it was the hawaii level which you will see is there is a uh, an environmental hazard where the volcano will erupt and there will be lava all over the floor and it'll cut off like it seemed like half of the actual arena um so you can take advantage of that for example like picking up other monsters and throwing them in the lava and just doing different things like that um based on how the level changes uh what's really cool about this game is even after you die if you're eliminated it's not over after you die you become pretty much a satellite beam or a laser beam um from the sky and you'll see it you could choose to attack the remaining players with that laser beam um so if if there's somebody that you don't want to win you could just you could just pretty much target them and harass them once you die or you could just like kind of like torture uh you know both players and it adds a different dynamic an extra dynamic to the game because not only do those remaining players have to worry about each other they now have to worry about possibly the other two characters that already died and the laser beams that are being shot at them from the sky so also there's an evolution bar you gain uh your your evolution bar increases um by doing different things like uh attacking diff the other monsters uh destroying buildings so there's an incentive to destroying buildings uh and once you get your evolution bar filled then your monster will evolve uh they will become gigantic and pretty much all their you know their whole attack power is increased exponentially their their reach and everything like that and there's also a a, a power up that um <clears throat> there's also a, a power up similar to the like the smash bros ball that moves around in smash bros and you gotta hit it there's something similar to that where you have to uh, hit that in, in, in this game and then that allows you to perform a special move uh you can do it whether or we whether or not you are evolved so you could do it in, a, in, a, in an evolved state or you can do it in a regular state so yeah that's i think that's all the information that um you need to know about this game i could tell you it's real fun the animations to me are just so impressive the destruction is is impression is impressive just the overall look of the game um i think the fun factor of this game will be through the roof i think a lot of people um w once they get their hands on it like i said this game is going to gain a lot of uh popularity i can see this very being a very popular uh uh you know streaming and 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 party game uh, especially in, in the discord uh they this game is releasing on ps4 and pc first i believe they said but of course if the game does well uh they said they want to bring it to all the other platforms uh nintendo switch uh xbox you know next gen i'm sure next gen because by the time this uh you know releases on current gen i'm sure by that time they're gonna also want it to be released on next gen they want it on every platform so i think that's uh everything that i uh you know got to say about this game um but yeah it's it's really the war of the monsters smash bros rampage uh 
it, it's it's in the same vein it comes from the same cloth of of those games and it's highly inspired by those games so it was a ton of fun like i said it was practically the the it, it, it was practically the, the one of the best games at, at pax and that's not saying that pax was underwhelming by any any means um i just think this game was just that impressive and don't let the looks of this game fool you this game can be very unforgiving when you're playing against the other players it's not one of those games where you think you can just go in press buttons and just swing randomly and you're gonna win that's not gonna happen you will get wrecked if you don't know how to properly dodge if you're not blocking correctly if you're just running in running in there pressing buttons you're gonna get this you're gonna get destroyed because you can get killed really quick i there are you do have stocks i believe by default each monster has two stocks your two stocks can go really quickly if all you're doing is just taking damage so there is an actual i would say a, a skill curve to this game um that obviously can be explored uh th that i believe will be explored further when more people get their hands on this game but the game is not just like a mindless brainless brawler where you just you know it's not a button masher at all where you just mash buttons and and attack uh just all willy-nilly and you're gonna win that's not gonna happen i even you know was speaking to the, the to the developer and you know there was one monster monster that i was like oh he looks really you know over oh you know op and he was like explaining to me actually no we designed this monster to counter to counter that move yeah that move beats it out like he was explaining to me how each monster has a move that beats out you know a, a, another monster you just have to like figure it out and like kind of lab it out so that was like really cool that they, he kind of like put some um you know they actually put some thought into to like the design of it into the actual like fighting mechanics they didn't just want it to be a brain dead brawler so yeah the game is really cool i hope people check it out let me know what y'all think uh hit the like button check out the developers on uh on twitter link will be in the description uh make sure you hit the notification bell so you can know anytime i upload a video or I, or when i go live uh subscribe if you're not become a member follow me on twitter i'll i'm gonna be keeping my eye on this game all right i'm out of here peace